RFK Jr. went on ABC and they interviewed him. They censored some of his interview. You want to see? Here's where we go. We should note that during our conversation, Kennedy made false claims about the COVID-19 vaccines. Data shows that the COVID-19 vaccines prevented millions of hospitalizations and deaths from the disease. He also made misleading claims about the relationship between vaccination and autism. Research shows that vaccines and the ingredients used for the vaccines do not cause autism, including multiple studies involving more than a million children and major medical associations like the American Academy of Pediatrics and the advocacy group autism speaks we've used our editorial judgment and in not including extended portions of that exchange in our interview we thank mr kennedy so i've never seen a news organization ever do that ever before now let's keep in mind that this woman's check is signed by pfizer and everybody who works at this news organization quote unquote is is, is it's just a it's not a news organization these are public relations for corporations and right now what she's doing is public relations for pfizer when have you ever heard them edit out a politician's speech because there was part of it that was false the answer is never that's never ever ever done and the only reason they did that was because he probably made some really good points that was going to injure Pfizer's bottom line and they don't want to show it to you why not so what a news reporter is supposed to do is let the guy make his case and then you debunk it right that's what you're supposed to do well they debunked it without letting him make his case that's not journalism that's straight up PR for Pfizer and that's why they're garbage she just recited i mean just hearing how she recited it was so yeah like a like, robot uh, just gonna be ai man doing this it really is creepy how uh like you can even trump the most dangerous man in the january 6th world is gonna be on cnn saying whatever he wants and they gotta not even show you the argument they, rfk jr made they can't even show you the argument that rfk jr makes about vaccines they can't even show you the argument but they're gonna show trump live unedited because they know he's not going to say that. I hope he says the thing about the oil in Syria again, that the reason why we're there <laughs> is because we're, taking, we're stealing their oil. I hope he says that. I hope somebody asks him that question. So that's, so now, so again, now, so there, there's never been a time in history, as RFK Jr. pointed out on this show, where the censors were the good guys. They're not the good guys. The censors are the bad people. She's working for evil. This is called the banality of evil. She doesn't look evil. She is. Thanks for protecting me, lady. That's her. She's pretending to protect me. She's not. She's protecting corporate profits. The data shows otherwise. <laughs> I don't need to know anymore. So there it is. I've uh, never suspected anything again, about The, the problem isn't yeah. with YouTubers. The yeah. problem isn't YouTubers spreading misinformation. The problem is with the mainstream corporate news. They're constantly lying to you at the behest of Big Pharma, Wall Street, the military industrial complex, uh, Silicon Valley, and health insurance companies. That's what that's what they're lying to you for. They're not bringing you the news, dummy. They're there to manufacture consent, and that's why they did this, and there's nobody upset about it in the news business. Nobody's calling them out in the news business for doing this. Nobody, because they all serve the same people, Pfizer. Well, they're not going to risk their neck. That's right. Or their career. Like, a bunch of them will talk about it, but they're not going to talk about it on the news. No. <laughs> no. You're going to catch them in a recording with uh, James O'Keefe or something. That's right. Watch my new comedy special, COVID Lies Are Funny, for only $10. Become a member at JimmyDoor.com. Hey, and we're going to be on tour in Northampton, Massachusetts, Syracuse, Cohoes, New York, Hartford, L.A., Bakersfield, Baltimore, Rosemont, Chicago, and a lot more. Oh, and San Francisco being added very soon. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for tickets. See you there. Mm -hmm.